Welcome to Howard Brown Online Barber College. Today we will be reviewing effective classroom management and supervision. Let's begin. Master educators will provide an environment filled with motivation, energy, enthusiasm, and excitement because of their attitude of classroom decor, decorum, caring, propriety. If you chose C, caring, you are correct. To establish credibility and authority and to generate a high degree of cooperation in a teaching situation, the master educator must project a professional image, be well groomed, control the environment, have good posture. If you chose A, project a professional image, you are correct. Classroom conflicts and misunderstandings may be avoided if the master educator is firm and demanding, conducts class like a drill sergeant and is unwavering within the class environment, sets well-defined guidelines and expectations for learner behavior, starts each day with new set of guidelines to follow. If you chose C, sets well-defined guidelines and expectations for learner behavior, you are correct. Allowing students to develop the guidelines for professionalism within the classroom may cause chaos, cause students to commit themselves to the standards they have developed, result in conflicting standards, cause more harm than good. If you chose B, cause students to commit themselves to the standards they have developed, you are correct. Behavior guidelines should be set forth in a specific document and should include consequences for noncompliance, rules and standards, performance objectives, both A and B. If you chose D, both A and B, you are correct. The appropriate time to discuss guidelines for behavior is at the first visit to the institution, after the first infraction of a rule, in the new student orientation process, all of the above. If you chose C in the new student orientation process, you are correct. For the learner to learn, the master educator must facilitate the learning process through the maintenance of high behavioral standards, consistency in enforcing rules and applying consequences, modeling appropriate conduct, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Desired behaviors will be achieved more readily if the master educator reacts positively, negatively, quickly, sarcastically. If you chose A, positively, you are correct. All misconduct cannot be eliminated, but master educators will model and teach students to develop self-control, develop hostility, use ridicule, use sarcasm. If you chose A, develop self-control, you are correct. Using the least amount of force necessary to control misbehavior is termed minimal consequence, low profile intervention, maximum intervention, low proximity.
If you chose B, low profile intervention, you are correct. Behaving the same way on repeated occasions when the circumstances are the same or similar is termed uniformity, consistency, regularity, harmony. If you chose B, consistency, you are correct. The state or quality of acting the same or with the same standard among different parties or learners is called consistency, uniformity, compatibility, harmony. If you chose B, uniformity, you are correct. Surveys indicate that inconsistent application of policies and procedures among learners is of no concern, causes conflicting messages, is of significant concern, both B and C. If you chose D, both B and C, you are correct. The method of dealing with misconduct that is very direct and assertive is termed close proximity intervention, low profile intervention, high profile intervention, assertive discipline. If you chose C, high profile intervention, you are correct. When selecting a method of controlling misconduct, the master educator should stick to one method, become familiar with a variety of methods and choose accordingly, use low profile intervention, use high profile intervention. If you chose B, become familiar with a variety of methods and choose accordingly, you are correct. Being dignified in behavior, speech, and dress is called professionalism, decorum, dignity, grooming. If you chose B, decorum, you are correct. Misbehavior is better managed if the educator de maintains decorum and proper vocabulary, continuity, and inconsistency, a high degree of professionalism, eye contact. If you chose C, a high degree of professionalism, you are correct. Ignoring a student's behavior may be an acceptable strategy if the misconduct is insignificant, hostile, chronic, disruptive. If you chose A, insignificant, you are correct. During a presentation or group discussion, the educator might insert the name of the learner in an instructional statement. This strategy is known as naming names, name dropping, reclaiming the disruptive student, stopping the chatterbox. If you chose B, name dropping, you are correct. Physically moving toward the learner is a powerful means of controlling a misbehavior. The term for this strategy is proximity stroll, stand by me, close proximity, parallel parking. If you chose C, close proximity, you are correct. When using a verbal desist, it is very important not to attack the character of the learner, but to speak angrily, convey hostility, become sarcastic, address the situation. If you chose D, address the situation, 
you are correct. When selecting remedies for misconduct, the educator considers school policies, the nature of the misconduct, the personal style of the educator, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Reprimands are one of the most common remedial techniques. They should occur as soon as, as they should occur as soon after the misbehavior as possible. If a resolution to the problem is expected, there must be rules and consequences, punishments with suspensions, clarification and caring, contracts for better behavior. If you chose C, clarification and caring, you are correct. A document stating the arrangement made between the educator and the learner regarding a greater commitment toward agreed upon behavior is called a agreement or contract, statement of purpose, will of intent, promissory note. If you chose A, agreement or contract, you are correct. When planning for a behavioral conference, the educator should consider specific areas of documented misconduct, concrete goals for improvement, consequences for failure to remedy misconduct, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Counseling services and advice to learners on areas of employment, licensing, professional assistance, and reciprocity are required by many state regulatory agencies and accrediting bodies. This service is termed academic advisement, public relations, professional development, professional services. If you chose A, academic advisement, you are correct. Through academic advisement, a student may review progress through a program of study and establish loyalty, decorum and positive affirmations, approval, recognition and appreciation, recognition and appreciation, approval and appreciation. If you chose B, approval, recognition, and appreciation, you are correct. This concludes this review. For more information on classes, visit our website at howardbrownonline.com.